welcome to the channel. I'm virtually and this is a very very special video because it is a collaboration with the wonderful colorful sims She is an extraordinary builder Not only is she a fantastic simmer because her channel has a ton of generational let's plays and cast videos and stories but she also is one of the top-notch builders in the community. It would warm my heart if you went and checked her out. I'm going to link her channel down below. She actually did the build itself for this collaboration. So if you go to her channel, you get to see how she built the structure for this Victorian home. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the decor style inside because that was my part of the job was the renovation, the decoration part, if you will the interior design and so I really wanted this house to stay true to the Victorian nature uh, as she built it so a lot of the palettes that you'll see are very classic very um, posh very high society I wanted it to all be antique looking and old in nature and so that's what you saw in that front gallery was just a, that was the drawing room where the guests would stay and now I'm doing the dining room the dining room I struggled with a little bit because I wanted it to sit a lot of people but I also wanted it to have this warm and cozy feel I'm using these mirror palettes as a way to put texture on the walls and kind of fill up the space it's my clutter if you will uh, what else can I tell you I use a lot of the mirror um, lighting scones tricks it gives again the decoration a little bit more 3d personality and a lot more texture i use a lot of clutter i use a lot of flowers i use a lot of mirrors because it fills up a space really really nice i'm still getting used to where everything is in our by build mode queue because there's just so much right now I mean I know we we all want more right but there really is a lot to like look at and think about a lot of the inspiration for this decor is from Pinterest I really studied a lot of Victorian rooms and a lot of their bathrooms have that black and white checkered spotting on the floor here I go using the mirrors and sconces trick again but um, I like to also use a lot of different palettes as far as wallpaper textures on the walls themselves and I did a little privacy nook for the toilet I do that in another bathroom upstairs because it's nice to be able to have privacy when you're in there you know um, and not look at the entire room when you're having your private moment on the toilet <laughs> but anywho um, I use a lot of the Victorian colors with the panels and the wood floors and the checkered tiles and here I go putting on a wood panel which I absolutely love the look and the texture of this particular style in this bathroom I like that the wood panel looks raw that if you touch it you might even get like splinters and the last thing you want to do is touch a raw piece of wood but it really makes it look nice uh, anyway moving on I love the Victorian tubs and here I go trying to fill out the space a little bit more with clutter and flowers. I think I use that square plant a lot because it's one of the only plants that you can place on shelving, on surfaces. So if, if I had an ask list, there would be a lot that I would ask the EA devs to create. But more stuff to put on shelves and surfaces would be really, really nice. Um, taking advantage of a lot of the stuff packs that came out recently and um, and make sure that I utilize a lot of those knickknacks and doohickeys as much as I can um, I like the, the old world feel but I also love the comfort feel in each of the room like I feel like I would feel warm and cozy in each of these rooms and we're moving on to the office right now um, I saw this office sort of layout on Pinterest and I thought, you know, I've never really put a desk in the middle of the room. I would be really interesting to do that. And I did and I really liked the outcome of it. Um, I think that someone in this office in this study would be, you know, um, in a very important job. Obviously they'd have to be to afford this place because it's pretty expensive. But, um, but it has that, you know, 
cigar and brandy feel to it because the the colors are darker and richer and yet it has that um, elegant feel to it as well so I I hope that when you guys download this house that you um, have that same feel to it but let me know let me know in the comment feed down below when you do download this house um, how it goes for you and your families I believe this is a house like for all generations you know like you can you can start off with gen 1 and go on the course I try to leave you guys room to be able to personalize it yourself but I wanted to ensure that you got a complete project. Now this project took me a week to complete. This is hours and hours and hours. I believe I have 10 or 11 hours in all put together to make this house for you guys, the interior design anyway. Because again, Colorful Sims made the, the exterior of it. But it did take me about 11 hours to be able to, to put this all together for you guys. Um, but, you know, there is a lot of space for customization if you wish to do so. Um, I'm making a little craft or a little, uh, yeah, craft area, I guess, in the back of the kitchen here. This is my favorite part of the kitchen. And I do come back at some point in the build and I add some touches. As I go to another build and I, um, or another room and I see something in the queue that I'm like, oh, this would fit in this room or that room, I come back and place it. So you'll see that I'll come back and put some chalkboards on that wall at some point, but it kind of gives it that finishing touch that I absolutely love. I almost forgot to put a stove in this room, so I'm glad that I remembered to move a cabinet out of the way and put a stove in there because you wouldn't be able to uh, cook without it, would you? Um, see, here I go again, putting some finishing touches in the dining room. Um, as I see things, I, I definitely go back and, and add to or take away and replace so um to ensure that there is a complete feel to each of the rooms i like this trick i learned this one from sim supply where he put lights underneath the cabinets to give it that pop of color because some nooks in the room um can look a little bit dark if you don't do so so i make sure that i go in the dark spots i i did that there in the study too um just to put lights now this room back here is kind of like the room that you would bring a guest just to, it's kind of like a playroom in the back oh you know what never mind because i'm going to the hallway here's where i'm putting the checkered pattern that i saw on pinterest a lot of the hallways have these mosaic tiles and these checkered patterns it's like a classy feel to it um i absolutely love the color mesh of the black and white with the gold walls um so i fart around a little bit trying to find a buffet table to kind of put in the place um, for the front, front entry, if you will. And again, just struggling to find knickknacks and doohickeys that actually make, make sense. There I go, moving some things around that I found in the kitchen. And I do that quite a bit. I go to the kitchen a lot. This is my scones on the wall trick. I find things that I can stick lighting fixtures to. And that cutting board actually is for the kitchen but I use it a lot as a backing to a sconce. It gives it that extra dimension, and you'll see in a little bit that I add the uh, lighting fixtures to it. I'm struggling a little bit because the plants like to seep into the walls, and that's always been something that The Sims 4, I think The Sims 3 had that too, but I do look in the other rooms just to ensure that the leaves and the twigs aren't um, bleeding into another room because uh, I just I just don't feel like that would have been a good job for you guys um, if I left things undone like that or, um, you know, just kind of haphazard or lackadaisical. I really um, wanted this to be, I feel like Colorful Sims did such an outstanding job with this structure that I really wanted to ensure that I gave you guys the best product to highlight her genius work. I mean, this house is flipping incredible flipping incredible um this is kind of a little smoker's room this is kind of like a guy's den a guy's little uh cave this is where he brings his buddies back there and they have you know brandy on the rocks and smoke cigars and play dartboard and um talk about work and talk about girls and you know whatever it is that guys do. i don't know i'm just making crap up at this point <laughs> But I try to keep that color scheme, that, that very cozy, warm, rich, um, antique feel to the home. I didn't want anything that looked modern. 
I tried to steer away from that as much as I could. Here I go putting in the blackboards. I just love that. I love that touch. And you'll see, I'll put um, screenshots at the end so that you guys can see like everything come together um, in still photos at the end. I would really love it if you guys do download this house. If you would take pictures of the families that live in there for us and share it with us on Twitter. Uh, I would love it if you went over to Colorful Sims channel and checked out all of her work. If you think this is amazing, you have to see her creations. They're just out of this world. They really, really are. I'm moving up to the second floor right now and I'm doing the master bedroom, keeping the same color scheme. I play around with a little bit of ideas and then I move in a family and I test it and it didn't work. So I stripped it all away and did the best I could with um, I wanted a different type of headboard or accent on the wall for the master bedroom and so I did that gold and white speckled thing in the background and now I'm just filling up the walls with um, more surfaces and more clutter. I think the more that you have in a room, the more the room looks complete. Um, if you have any empty walls or, or any empty shelves, it just looks like it's not complete. This is the master bath. And it is one of my favorite bathrooms, if not my favorite. Well, I guess the one downstairs is a good one. All of the bathrooms are really cute, but this one is special. It has a vanity. Um, I like the juxtaposition of where everything is. And now that I'm looking at it, I should have put a little privacy wall on there too. But, um, but no, I really like the mosaic floors. I saw a Pinterest Victorian bathroom with very similar mosaic floors and I thought, um, why not try it? Uh, I don't know why I'm pausing here. I think I'm looking for a more Victorian bedrooms, um, on the web. And so then I find a few and I come back and I try some of those palettes. I found a really pretty, like, um, girly Victorian room. It was more, more on the lighter side with the pinks and the yellows and the whites. Um, but the floors were like this nice, rich brown, um, um, slate. And it just gives a room an extra bit of depth. I'm playing around with the lights. I really like the, the idea of having different backings to the beds because I think we're to the point in this two years with the Sims 4 franchise or this particular, um, platform where... The beds have been pretty much the same throughout the last two years. And unless you download custom content, uh, it's really hard to make a bed stand out anymore, to, to make it feel new and different. So I try to do different things to the um, backing. My friend, um, Great Symphony, who is another great um, builder in the community, um, she actually puts sofas in the back and then meshes. She does the, the BB Moves objects and she meshes the beds into the sofas and it gives it that nice, like a tapestry feel to the back. Um, and because of the lack of space, I couldn't use her trick on this one, but I absolutely love when she does that because it makes it look nice. Again, I'm layering the room, bringing um, a lot of dimension in with the clutter and the flowers. The flowers really bring a room together. You can have a bunch of stuff in the room, but if you don't have flowers, it just doesn't seem complete. Right now I'm looking for surfaces so that I can put on top of those hanging thingies so that I can actually put clutter on top of there and make this wall look pretty complete as well. I'd also like to see uh, a lot of a lot more like smaller picture frames because one of the things that I really like to do on the walls is I really like to use different types of frames but I like the different sizes and shapes and I feel like we either have, um, I'm not sure why I'm paused here, but I feel like we either have um, either really, really big pictures or really, really um, a lot of medium sized frames, but we don't have a lot of long shape frames and we don't have a lot of those small ones. And I really like a lot more frames that I can put on the shelves. So, um, Here's my mirror and surface trick. 
I feel like mirrors just finish up a wall too. Like I can put picture frames and I can put shelving on there, but as soon as I add a mirror, I feel like, okay, my job is done. Drop the mic and walk away. But, um, but I really like the way that this room turns out. I feel like this is the room in the entire house that I would call my own. This is the room that I absolutely love. I did add a fireplace to it. Uh, I feel like fireplaces and rooms give it that extra notch of sophistication. Like if you have a fireplace in your bedroom, you are pretty much set for life. <laughs> well, first of all, you will never have a cold night, but thirdly, um, you're pretty much high society if your bedroom uh, consists of having a fireplace in it. Eventually I move into, there's a little closet that Colorful Sims built into this room. There's like, um, there is the EA closet and then there's another closet or a space that you can make that into a bathroom if you wish. If you download this house and you don't want that extra walk-in closet that I make in a few seconds, you can totally tear it down and make a fourth bathroom in the house if you would prefer. Um, absolutely feel free to do that. But I made this into another closet and I just put more, um, it's like a closet slash attic and uh, I just put a bunch of, you know, crates and things like that. It looks like I found more clutter to put on the shelves, so I stopped my process to uh, enhance the bedroom, if you will. So here I am just putting just a bunch of crap in there. Um, I found these crates that I'd seen at some point and then I missed putting them in the room. So you'll see me go back again to the different rooms and just add stuff as I see them. Another thing that I noticed um, with this build is that this is my first time like adding textures to uh, adding levels or layers to the curtains. Um, like if you put, for example, the curtains that I have on are those skinny curtains, but if you put on those little um, short window pane curtains on top of it, it wouldn't look bad. Like I think what I'm trying to say is don't be afraid to experiment with Placing things on top of each other that you don't think would necessarily work might actually work. And that's the beauty of building and decorating. I prefer decorating. I'm a stronger interior designer than I am uh, a builder. Um, but I'm trying. I'm, I'm practicing a lot. Um, but one thing that I love about interior design is that you can literally go, go all out. Play with the color palettes. Play with the textures on the wall. Play with the curtains. Play with the, with the rugs. I mean, you can actually layer rugs and make it look really nice as well if you really wanted to. I'm just taking screenshots for the end of this <laughs> uh, video at this point and we have just a few more rooms to go. Um, here I am playtesting. Play I wanna make sure that um, the Sims can actually go to the different interaction or interactable objects within this build to ensure that you guys have a functioning home. In this room, this is a kid slash child nursery room. I just made a changing table by merging uh, ottoman in with a dresser. And um, the theme to this room is blue and gray. And it's one of my favorite nurseries that I've ever made. Uh, I love these get together rugs. The gray one is my favorite. And I think I use it quite a bit throughout this build. But um, the theme to this room is a very uh, child-friendly posh room. I think the silver and the blue, that light blue, that Tiffany blue, really make it feel fancy. <clears throat> if that's if that's the um, theme that I'm going for, I think uh, I nailed it in that aspect because I feel like the the walls have been layered in a silver mesh. You know, like true platinum mesh and it's just exquisite. I love these crates. I used a lot of the stuff pack for the, the kids stuff pack that came out this year in this room. Um, the stuff pack team in the EA development world is my favorite team thus far. Um, the quality of work that they give us is, is just outstanding. It's unique. It is, um, there's a lot of definition in what they do. Um, there's a lot of detail in what they release and I absolutely love it. I'm playing around with decals on the walls and then I'm thinking to myself, 
I feel like decals will make this room look a little bit less posh, um, if you will. So I just remove them and go with something else. I think I come back to this room a little bit. Um, here I am fixing the picks and making sure that I do the right thing here. Um, the right color palettes. And uh, I, I come back to this room and put a couple more things in it at the end. And I think that I also do that with the, oh, I love the mosaic on this bathroom floor. And I love these curtains are one of my favorite curtains. So yeah, I this is one of my favorite, all three bathrooms really, um, I, I could pretty much own any one of these bathrooms and I'd, I'd feel complete. <laughs> I really would. This this particular project, although it was a very long project, it was a very satisfying project and it makes me excited. My husband and I are actually thinking about uh, purchasing a home next year and this build, decorating this build, really makes me excited to own my own home and decorate my own home and just really have fun with the details. I'm going around the house and actually adding a little bit of patterns and texture and furniture and things like that to the outside of the home, making the outside um, renovations, if you will, adding the hallways, um, details, and then I also fix the attic upstairs. And with that, guys, just know that I'm gonna add the screenshots at the end for your viewing pleasure. Feel free to visit Colorful Sims and say hi on my behalf. You won't be disappointed. I hope you enjoy this. I had so, so much fun. I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you super soon. Virtual hugs. Enjoy the screenshots at the end. Bye.